Nasty Nathaniel out here in the city of Aurora Grande, California. And right now I'm going to be conducting a First Amendment audit of Lightning Joros Guitar Heaven. This is a special audit that I'm going to dedicate to the great Eddie Van Halen. And in doing so, I'm going to make sure that our friends at this local Central Coast guitar shop respect and honor my constitutionally protected right to record what I can see from a public space. So let's go over there and light them up. So yeah, folks, this is it. This is Lightning Joe's Guitar Heaven. It's located here in the uh, city of Aurora Grande, but this part of Aurora Grande is known as the village. There's the thing. And this is an old business. Uh, Lightning Joe's has been here for a long time. Um, I know when my family first moved to this area, I remember coming here. I actually bought, uh, bought some equipment from this guy. Um, but they've been open since 1983. It's a family owned business. And I'm actually surprised they're still here. You know, being that so many small businesses have, have gone under. But uh, Lightning Joe's, um, I've been wanting to audit this place and I'll explain why. Um, as most of you guys probably know, we recently lost the great Eddie Van Halen, one of the greatest guitar players of all time. I'm sure I don't have to tell you all who Eddie Van Halen is. Um, I myself, growing up uh, playing music and playing in bands and writing songs, Eddie Van Halen and his band Van Halen, they're a huge influence on me. Big Van Halen fan. Um, Van Halen was formed in Pasadena, California in 1972 and uh, they were originally known as Mammoth. That was the name of their original band with uh, Eddie actually doing lead vocals. And then later um, David Lee Roth joined and he became their official front man so he took over on uh, the duties of lead vocals and then Michael Anthony joined and they became Van Halen. And uh, they released six albums uh, with David Lee Roth. 1978, you got Van Halen 1, the self-titled debut album. 79, Van Halen 2. 80, Women and Children First. 81, uh, Fair Warning. And uh, 82, we got Diver Down. And then uh, 1984, of course, we got 1984. Well, it was actually released, well, it was recorded in 1983, but it was released for the new year, 1984. But yeah, and then of course, um, Sammy Hagar joined after David Lee Roth left in 1985. And uh, under Sammy Hagar, we got a 5150 in 86, OU812 in 88. And then uh, my favorite uh, Van Hagar album for Unlawful Carnal Knowledge, that came out in 90, 95, we got Balance. And that would do it for uh, Hagar's era of studio Van Halen releases. And then 98, uh, we got Van Halen 3, which featured uh, Gary Sharon on vocals, but that didn't last very long. I actually saw him during that tour. And uh, they only did one album, one tour with Gary Sharon, who he came from Extreme. And other than that, the only other studio album they would release would be um, 2012. They released a different kind of truth. A little bench right there. You wanna eat your ice cream that you just bought from uh, Doc Bernstein's across the street? But yeah, other than that, I mean, um, we wouldn't get any more music from Van Halen. Just, uh, you know, so from 98 to 2012, we only got two albums. And then uh, after 2012, that was it. They would do a, a final tour in 2015 with Roth. But uh, some people, have you know a lot of people have actually questioned you know i like to listen to eddie trunk and he's talked about why van halen put out such little music during those years 
and uh, he's actually said that um, you know he believes that it may have had something to do with Eddie's uh, health issues you know he had a long battle with cancer and uh, so I mean that could have been it not really sure this is kind of cool right here we got this uh, It's kind of like a, yeah, it's probably been there since the place opened. I'm sure, it's seen better days. But then we got the, well, the door was open just a minute ago. I saw that guy playing guitar. And now it's, they closed the door. I don't know if that's because of me or maybe it's because they're getting ready to close up shop. But uh, this is the sound. Vintage amplifiers, got Fender amplifiers. Um, Lightning Joes, since I just went on and on about Van Halen, um, let's talk a little bit about Lightning Joes. Like I said, they've been here since 1983, and they claim to carry uh, 1,600 new and used uh, guitars and uh, other types of stringed instruments as you can tell i don't know how well you can see this you can see up on the wall there they got guitars hanging from the ceiling i wish the door was still open i would have liked to have taken a look at some of the classic guitars that maybe they're just closing i don't know it might not be because of me so you can see they got all the guitars and this is the way i remember it when i used to come in here years ago i remember they had the guitars hanging from the ceiling, just like that. So, hopefully, Lightning Joe will respect public photography. Hopefully, they'll uh, respect my right to stand here on a public sidewalk and record what I can see from a public space. I'll be trying to get in. We do have room oh. We open up on Tuesday. Oh, okay. We're yeah, open Tuesday. Sorry, if you'd come here a little bit sooner, we would have hit the wood. Yep. Oh, I'm going to turn, turn them away. Come on in. All right. Let's go. All right. Let's turn it. Yeah, I think. I didn't get invited in. Damn. Yeah. I made it. They let you in? Yeah, I made it. Oh, they're cool. Awesome. You got your drumsticks? Yeah. Cool. My buddies, they call me for practices right now, and uh, I have uh, my stuff on my home, and I live far away. Oh, you play drums? Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess you're buying drumsticks, so you must. What do you think of Van Halen? Oh, it's nice. Yeah. I like Led Zeppelin, Van Halen, I, uh, Police. Oh, cool. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah I saw the police uh, when they did the reunion tour. I saw them in Honolulu. Uh, my last concert I saw is... Uh, um, I know sometimes I lose track of all the concerts I've yeah, been yeah, through too. Uh, let me see it. Uh, let me guess, was it Burt Bacharach? No? I don't, I don't know why I forgot that. This is one of my favorite plants. Um, the, the one play, the Eye in the Sky. What was that? Uh, Eye in the Sky. Uh, uh, I should know that. I'm, I'm losing it. Okay, wow. Sorry. Well, you know, you have a great day. You I'm too. glad you got your drumsticks. <laughs> Take care. All right. He was a friendly enough guy. Glad he got his drumsticks. So he can go play his heart out. Hi, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. Good. Uh, maybe he was here for uh, guitar lessons or something. I don't know. Or maybe he's a teacher. I love the way this old building looks. Well, that's Elvis's face right there, but 
or a statue of Elvis, <laughs> not the real Elvis. But I look the, I love the architecture of this old building. Look at that. I mean, they just don't make uh, structures like this anymore. Um, this building is actually located in an area uh, that is known as the village. And the village is kind of like the old part of a Royal Grande. It's, uh, this is, you know, they try to preserve it and make it look like it, it looked uh, back in the Old West. You know, when the these paved streets were dirt roads and people would be going through here on horses and buggies and not, not cars. All right, we got the, oh, the door open. You can see some of the, oh, we got some guitars right there and see what I'm talking about. I wonder if he's leaving that open for me or if he's just, they got a huge collection of guitars. Oh, it looks like he's having a conversation with somebody. I don't want to be rude and walk up and, you know, so maybe, maybe he'll see me and he'll, Maybe he'll come out here and uh, introduce himself. Hi. Hello. How you doing? Good, how are you? Hi, you work at Lightning Joe's? I don't. You don't? Oh, okay. All right. I was the last customer. Oh, you were the last customer? Uh-huh. Yeah, this place has been here for forever. I'm just doing a story about Lightning Joe's. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I used to play in a band. I used to come here and buy equipment all the time, so. I think I've seen you around here before. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've, I've, I've been over here. I don't get over to this area too much anymore, but... Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, I've I've been here. I've been shopping here since I started playing, like 18 years ago. So. Oh, do you have a band or? Not at the moment, no. Oh, okay. I, I was gonna say I give you guys a shout out and well, help promote you. you. <laughs> yeah, at the moment, no. Just a uh, just home home jammer. Oh, awesome. Okay. I, I play a little bit with friends. That's about it. Oh, okay. Cool. Awesome. Well, it looks like I caught. I I, I think they're closing. So. <laughs> yeah. They might be coming out soon. Yeah, maybe, maybe I can get an interview with Lightning Joe himself. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for talking to me. I appreciate it. Well, you have a great day, sir. You appreciate it. Well. All right. Pretty friendly enough. All right, folks. Well, I don't know. Maybe we're not gonna. Oh, let's see. Hi, guys. How you doing? Hey, how are you? you guys work at Lightning Joe? We do. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. You mind if I ask you a couple quick questions? Or? Sure, sure, what's up? Yeah, I used to play in a band. I used to shop here and whatnot. How long have they been doing lessons here? Uh, it would be since 2004. 2004? Yeah, 16 years now. Okay, do you guys teach or do you repair? Or we do do you have, uh, oh. we, we work in the shop. We have four separate teachers. Oh, okay. Uh, they've been playing, what, 50 years between all of them? Or all hey, separately, hey, individually. Each one almost. Yeah. Oh, really? Long time players. Yeah, well accomplished players. We've been playing most of their lives. Uh, they're here during our business hours. Oh, okay. And then depending on what day you'd be scheduled, which who the teacher would be. Oh, awesome. The, um, yeah, Glenn, Jim, Robin, and Michael are the four that we have at the moment. Cool, awesome. Yeah. yeah, I'm so glad to see it's still open. I used, Like I said, I used to come, I played in bands. I used to come here and buy strings and, you know, I bought a couple, I was a bass player, so I bought a couple of bass guitars here and, right you know, so I bought an amp here before and I just, I'm surprised, I mean, so many small businesses have closed. I'm really. Yeah, we've been lucky. We've been able to stay, you know, afloat pretty, you know, for the most part without any too, too many issues. So, okay. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're blessed for lack of a better term. Awesome. Well, uh, you know, one, one final, I don't want to keep you guys, I know you probably want to get home and have a drink or whatnot, but uh, um, what, what did you guys all think of the passing of uh, Eddie Van Halen? The, oh, it's a tragedy. Yeah, definitely a surprise, you know, yeah. just sad yeah. to see him go, he's a legend. Came out of nowhere, and uh, yeah, too young, honestly, 60, what, 62? 65. 65. 65, yeah, 65. Had, you know, he had 20 more years in him, for sure, so it's, it's a damn shame, but, uh, you know, he's, he's up there with the uh, rest of the rock gods now, so. Yeah, up there with Morrison and yeah. Cobain and everything. Uh, you know, I lied, one last question, can you guys each name your favorite Van Halen album? Oh, definitely. Van Halen. The yeah. self-titled debut album, yeah, probably, 78. Yeah, Van Halen yeah. as well. That one, probably 1984 after that. 1984 after yeah, that, Van okay. Halen's probably my, my go-to, yeah. So the Roth era, yeah, yeah. I, saw, I was always a fan, but I, I like the Hagar era too, you know. Oh, he's good too, yeah. Each had their own. Yeah. yeah, it's just that original kind of, you know, push on the scene there, which is, you know, you can't quite match the same energy. It's pretty epic. Exactly. Well, thanks for talking to me. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, Take care. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. Ooh.
That's what I'm talking about, folks. Nice and professional. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this audit up. I've been here for a bit and uh, got some interaction from both uh, some customers and some employees. And that was pretty cool. Uh, didn't see Lightning Joe himself. Well, I think I might have saw him. I think he had the door open for a moment. But if that was him, he was engaged in a conversation with uh, someone. And I, you know, I didn't want to be rude and interrupt him. And, and uh, you know, hey, you want to be in my audit? So, believe it or not, I have more, a lot more class than that. So anyways, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and give Lightning Joe's Guitar Heaven a pass. Uh, they were professional. They obviously respect public photography. They're not scared of a camera, which is good, especially in this day and age. So anyways, uh, if you are a musician and you need a musical instrument, equipment, whatever, please come over here to Lightning Joe's Guitar Heaven in the village of Aurora Grande, and I'm sure they'll be able to satisfy your musical needs. Nasty Nathaniel saying happy trails. Until next time, may the audits be with you.